Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the surface area of a similar solid when the volumes are given. So we've got this problem here. Solids A and B are similar. Remember that similar means they're the same shape but just different sizes. So everything scales in the same way. If it's twice the width, then it'll be twice the height as well. Their volumes are 40 centimetres cubed and 1,080 centimetres cubed respectively. If the surface area of B is 135 centimetres squared, determine the surface area of A. Now, for these problems before, we like to lay it out in a little table. So we've got the surface areas, and we've got the volumes in this particular case, for A and B, and we're given the volumes of 40 centimetres cubed and 1,080. We've got the surface area of B is 135 centimetres squared, and we're trying to find the surface area of A. Now, because we're given both the volumes, we can work out the scale factor of volume. So the scale factor volume, well, we can just divide the numbers to see how many times bigger this is than this. So we do 1,080 divided by 40, and that gives us a scale factor volume of 27. And we want to work out the scale factor of surface area so we can scale the surface area here to get the surface area of A. Well, it's difficult to go directly from the scale factor volume to surface area, or vice versa, but it's relatively easy to find the scale factor of length, and we saw that in a previous video. If we had the scale factor of volume, we could go to the scale factor of length by cube rooting that number. So if we do the cube root of 27, we get a scale factor of length, such as height, for example, of 3. And then we also saw in a previous video how we go from the scale factor of length to the scale factor of area, such as surface area. So if we have the scale factor of length of 3, do you remember we square it to get the scale factor of area? So we do the 3 squared, and that gives us the scale factor of surface area of 9. So the scale factor volume is 27. We worked out that the scale factor of surface area is 9. So all we need to now do is just do the 135 divided by that 9 to get the surface area of A. So the surface area of A is equal to 135 divided by 9, and that gives us 15 centimetres squared, ensuring we put the correct unit. So just to summarise, if we've got the scale factor of length, scale factor of area, such as surface area, and the scale factor of volume, then to go from length to area, we square the scale factor. To go from length to volume, we cube the scale factor. And to go back from the scale factor of area to length, we square root. And to go back from the scale factor volume to length, we cube root. And that also means if we want to go from, say, scale factor volume to scale factor surface area, we can cube root first and then square, and that gets us to the scale factor surface area.